What's happening guys? Welcome back to This Is Living. I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you could like this video, subscribe to my channel. That'd be amazing. Um, I just want to introduce you guys to one of my favorite health and performance supplement companies, BPN, or Bear Performance Nutrition. They make amazing stuff. What I've been taking lately is the strong greens and strong reds. So these are like really, really good superfood powders. I really like these superfood strong greens and strong reds because they improve your natural energy levels. They optimize your gut health with probiotics and digestive enzymes. They support your healthy immune system. So how I incorporate both of these strong reds and strong greens into my diet is I usually just wake up in the morning, mix them with some water and drink them. And I have sustained energy throughout the day it feels like. It's really, really nice. If you want to optimize your health and performance, head over to BPN's website through the link in the description of this video to save 10% off your first order. I recommend trying Strong Greens and Strong Reds, but they also have a ton of other amazing products like protein powders, nutrition bars, and energy supplements too. And yeah, these are health and performance supplements you can trust. So, shout out BPN. Let's get back into the video. stairs at the access. We are gone in Tahiti in California, came back and someone decided to build some stairs here. I don't know how I feel about it. It is dried out. Anyway, we're back here in Hawaii on North Shore in pretty much the middle of summer. And there's kind of a tiny little wave right here at Rocky Point. Look at it. Miniature. Mini guy. We got a paddler on the inside. The lady. Right there. Look at that lady. Check her out. She's on the driest reef possible. On a soft top. Oh, she's turning for a wave? I don't know what's going on there. I can promise you that is not the best place to surf. Anyway, we do have a little bit of swell on the horizon coming here to South Shore is gonna be like probably five to six feet in the next two days. It's gonna be really fun, so we'll get some good waves. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, it's pretty crazy how much this place changes from winter time to summertime. We don't have like spring or fall really, it's just like winter and summer. So it's kind of just the two seasons here it feels like because there's either waves or there's not waves. But it's always sunny. It's always like 75 degrees, 80 degrees. And the craziest thing to me that changes is this beach right here. So check it out. Rocky Point right now. In comparison to, we'll find a clip to put right here of what it looks like in the winter time. When all the rocks are exposed, everything's exposed. And even down there. So that point right there is right where pipeline is and pretty much where that sand is like 50 feet off of that sand is where the lineup is where you'd be sitting to surf and right now the sand is pretty much in the lineup close to it It'd be cool to put a clip right here as well to show you what it looks like without all that sand there and yeah it's the ocean's crazy how much tons and tons of sand it can move just in summertime because we haven't even had that good size of a swell before all the sand got here so this sand was just pushed by the currents little waves like this over a month or two a couple months it's pretty crazy the ocean is a powerful place pipeline is a powerful place actually pipe is definitely i was just in fiji tahiti Malibu <laughs> and dude something about pipe it's not the biggest wave it's definitely not the most perfect but something about how that wave stands up and breaks right there on that shallow of reef it's not even the sharpest reef it's just concrete boulders and pillars maybe we'll go get a couple clips of it actually but 
the energy that explodes right there when it's big is just like nothing I've really ever felt or seen before. It's really scary. It's probably why it's known as probably one of the most deadly waves around. But let's actually, let's drive down there. Check it out. We're gonna look at all the sand. See how, see how it's looking. Try to tell it to go away. Waves to come. Oh, so we're at pipe. Well, there's a sign right here. I haven't seen it in a long time. I kind of forgot about it. But they have a pipe death section. Kind of hectic. Spooky. Let's go. Check out the sand. Summertime is pretty nice. It's so quiet here now. Whereas in the winter, it's just so packed everywhere. It's kind of nice to get a break from that, but it also can get a little bit boring. Jamie at Brian's house. Just say what up to him if you're out here. <laughs> the two Volcom houses. Quicksilver house used to be on the other side. They don't have it anymore. Holy sheesh. Wow. Crazy. So, stands all the way out there. And literally, sometimes, the water is like right here. Right here, the little edge of this hill. Sometimes the water comes all the way up in the winter and hits the bushes. Often, actually. But yeah, it's crazy. How much sand actually moves. Dude, the lineup out at Pipe and like the pecking order and stuff and how it works is just, it's insane because it looks so chaotic from footage or like if you're just watching, like everyone just paddling all different directions especially when a wave's coming but there is a bit more organization out there than you see or think there's like a group of people i'd say i'm not gonna get into naming people but um like a group of locals i'd say that have priority over what waves come through and if like they kind of get in a rotation of taking turns on the sets they want and then there's like probably a hundred to a hundred fifty other just like foreigners and then some other guys that should not be out there or some guys who are trying to become a pipe like charger and get good but it's funny so you kind of have your little group out there of about I'd say 20 people that you're looking at to see if they're going on a wave or you don't want to take away from or drop in on them and everyone else is kind of just like free game or in the way I'd say kind of dangerous actually so like say if I'm out there and I pal out with Nate Eli and John some of my best friends I'll like I'll get out there and we'll kind of just like whoever catches away first kind of goes to the back of our little line of three people four people and then next person next person next person it's kind of every set that comes through it's like oh you going like looking at one of my friends like if it's their turn so it's kind of like a little organized priority but chaotic <laughs> and that's the best way I could describe it so there is order out there and then bad things do happen people get in the way or people take waves or people drop in on you and yeah so or you drop in on someone on accident the last thing you want to do is drop it on one of your friends but yeah that's kind of how the organization works and then there's there's a couple different lineups there's like so when you paddle out you get sucked to the right and you come out at pipe on a good day and you're coming out and like the first little peak is kind of back door I'd say and then a little bit deeper you got your pipe zone where you sit for pipe and then there's like an inside ledge and an outside so like first reef or second reef 
I usually, I rarely ever make it out to Second Reef, but there's a big squad of guys that do go out there and like they have their own little setup and priority. But I usually tend to sit on the inside reef and those are my favorite waves that come in are the, the ones that are just big enough to like maybe feather at Second Reef, but then they die out in the middle and then they stand up and unload all their energy on First Reef. And those I think to me are the best like biggest barrels out there scariest probably most dangerous as well but yeah that's kind of how the lineup works out at pipe and yeah it's definitely chaotic sometimes you'll get like one of the best waves of your life and it was so intense trying to get that wave that you you kick out and you're almost still frustrated it's, it's hard to explain because it's kind of like a dog fight majority of the time. Because when I say I, you have priority between your friends, you're still battling everyone else out there, pretty much. So it's kind of like a dog fight in the lineup. And like once you finally get into a wave, you're like so focused and aggressive. And then sometimes you kick out and you're like, huh. I gotta stop and smile and be happy for a moment because you go through like so many waves of emotions out there. But yeah, that's, that's pipe for you. For me, I guess. That's how I'd explain it. <laughs>